everyone welcome to the next video in this series from Rita Berman's Europa book we have these nine um, lovely little pictures to colour and we're going to be doing the rooster today now I have looked up a few photos of the rooster um, because I realise it's a sort of traditional um, emblem symbol and I've written down the colours so that I can do a little nod to what it should should look like. I've seen a few, they're slightly different. We're going to start with a red and we're going to use the um, deep scarlet red. We're using polychromos. We're going to do this bit down here, which is red. I'm just going to sort of block it in, I think. Make it nice and bold. And the comb is red. Now I'm not sure, I think I'm going to do both bits here red. I'm just going to go over the top of Rita's um, patterns here and just colour it in red. Now I can't remember the eye. We've got this bit around the eye. I might leave that white. I'm not sure. I'll have a think as I go. I also haven't written down what colour the beak um, the base is blue, so I think I'm going to do that next. And I had a feeling it looked a sort of cobalt bluey type colour. That's what I'm going to use. Um, if you're um, if you're from Portugal, um, Portugal, is that right? Um, Lisbon or wherever, um, you may know the exact colours if there are exact colours. Um, so you might want to do it slightly differently, different shades, um, or you may um, just have a favourite way of doing it, or um, you know, wherever you're from, you might want to do it in a specific way. Now the rooster itself is black, which is quite a harsh dark colour, and I'm wondering whether to go slightly, oh, I'm going to do a red heart as well here, um, whether to go, sorry, this is back to our deep scarlet red. Um, I'm wondering whether to do a deep in dark indigo rather than a black because um, I saw some that look slightly bluey black rather than black black but I'm not sure yet I'm sort of deciding as I go so here's that now I'm wondering whether I'm yeah I think I'm going to take a darker red I have this um, dark red I'm going to do a few of the details. So for the heart, I'm going to do this inside one here, a slightly darker colour, and then it just looks a little bit more interesting, I think. And on the comb here, I'm going to do these shapes that Rita's drawn in this darker colour, like that. And actually, this I haven't done particularly well. I'm going to go back over it with the um, original red, just to block it in a bit more. I can see some white paper coming through and I don't like that in this particular design. Right, we're going to do the main part now. I am going to use the indigo, I think. We'll see how dark it goes. So this is the dark indigo and it means I can use the black for shading if I want to or um, I can just leave it in this sort of bluey black. Now, I don't know what colour the beak is. I can't remember. I am just putting down quite a hard layer across the whole thing without any shading. I'm going to stop and take off my card again. It's written in here. I've been keeping it on because I've had a bit of a sore shoulder. It's uh, getting better. It's just one of those, it's a muscular thing, you know. I've obviously slept funny or twisted strangely or, you know, old age. It's great, isn't it? Um, <laughs> but uh, it's, uh, I know I'm only 50. Um, but anyway, it's getting better, which is good. And it doesn't keep me awake at night, which again is very good. In fact, it usually gets sore through the day. And then once when I go to bed, it's a bit sore. And I try not to lie on it to start with. And then when I wake up in the night, as I always do, um, I can lie on it and it feels absolutely fine. So it's just like, it sort of gets better. I think it, I think it's probably one of those things that needs rest and it feels better. So I'm probably just overdoing it. It's in my left arm. So, uh, but you know, you still do stuff. You just do, don't you? I quite like this in the indigo. Um, I think it gives it a bit more character. I don't know why I'm saying that. It's just 
words that are coming into my head. I just like it. So, uh, but it's up to you. If you'd rather do the traditional black, then that's fine. Do the black, you know. It's, uh, there's nothing, um, I'm not doing anything special with this at the minute. I think I'm going to probably keep it quite solid, if that makes sense. Uh, yeah, I was woken up so many times in the night last night. Six times, maybe? Oh, it's like having toddlers. Except I got rats in the roof instead that wake me up. My nightlight woke me up twice. It's a Philips Hue lamp, and you can set it so that it's got a sort of. Um, you can change the dimming, you know. So I dim it quite 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 low and put it on a red hue, which is supposed to be good for sleeping. So I use it as a nightlight, and uh, twice in the night it it changed its. Hue. Um, color so that it was brighter. It didn't change the color. It just went um, went brighter. It seems to have a flipping life of its mind of its own. It's a flipping smart but unsmart. Oh, we've got another heart. We'll do that red later. Um, flipping thing. So that woke me up twice doing that. I've complained to Phillips numerous times. He keeps saying, you need to try this and that and the other. It's like, yeah, I've tried that. Oh, try um, try reinstalling in the app. I was like, yes, I've tried that. And it did it before I had the app. And it's like, oh, anyway. It's like banging your head against a brick wall. But um, anyway, I shall get back onto them again later and whinge, as you do. Um... So that's that, but also the rats woke me up in the ceiling, scuffling around. I tend to put the duvet over my head, which helps, and hot flush. And then I had cramp, and it's like, ah! But uh, I did go off to sleep early, and I am beginning to feel like I'm waking up now, <laughs> which is always good. Um, I've got to go out later, so I need to be a bit more awake. Um, I have to take my son to an appointment, it's nothing, n nothing major. And it's quite late. I think it's 10 to 4. So uh, late in the day. So I thought I'd come in and get some work, some videos done. The light, the sun is coming across the desk already though. I think on Sunday I might do some early morning ones. Um, videos before the sun comes round. Um, it's not all, I can't do it on a weekday. Because husband is getting ready for work and... He likes me to say goodbye to him before he goes and also needs a reminder of the time because he's he's got um, the old ADHD time blindness. I didn't realise what it was before, but now I know. It's uh, it's very interesting, all these things that behaviours that he thought were completely normal and actually are to his, down to his ADHD. And some of them, you know, the fact that he has lots of thoughts running through his head can be quite useful at times because it gives you creativity but um i think at the moment they're just making him feel stressed so he's like his medication has worked really well in calming that but he's upping his dose tomorrow which makes me a bit nervous because this dose he the low dose was amazing and so i don't know whether the higher dose will give him side effects or you know but we'll see I know what they do is they try and raise the dose until they find the optimum amount, you know, that where you get don't have horrible side effects but you um but you get the best results, you know. So we'll, we'll see. But um we're gonna do that heart next. So I've got my red back again, the deep scarlet red, so the slightly lighter one I think we we'll use here. Yeah, so uh, anyway, it's uh, it's all positive so far. Um, now, the circles are generally white and yellow. Um, I'm going to, I might leave some white, but I'm going to grab quite a, the sort of brightest yellow that isn't orange, which is our cadmium yellow, and do some of the, I'm going to do the beak in this colour. I can't remember what colour the beak should be, but yellow feels right. And then what I'm going to do is do every other circle in yellow, like this. I can't remember if that's how it should be, I doubt it. But I think it then makes the white look more intentional. As if I haven't just forgotten to colour it, but it's part of the pattern. These are so small. 
if you've coloured over some of these smaller ones by mistake, you can always use a yellow pen. Now for this tail, I think I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do every other one yellow. I'll leave some white. This bottom bit here, I think I'm going to use the indigo again. Whoops. The whoops, dark, the whoops, the dark indigo. Now I am going to use some white pen on this as well. Um, when I'm finished, I think these lines between here and these lines I might do in white. I'm going to wait until I've done the rest. Now these sort of backgroundy parts, I'm thinking I might use the same colours that I've used for the rest. So I'm thinking maybe up here, this one, I might do with this cobalt blue. I think that might look nice, as though if it's a little flower. I'm trying to fade a little bit, so make it a little bit darker in the middle and fade towards the end of each of these sort of petly bits. I don't know if it's really working, but you know, like that. And then let's do a deep red one over here. So this is the dark red on this one. Hmm. I hope this is going to work. And then this one. Um, yellow. Let's use the yellow. Come in yellow. I'm going all over the whole thing in the colour. The yellow I'm not going to fade because I think it will just vanish if I fade it a bit. There we go. Now the backgrounds to each of these, I'm thinking maybe I leave them in white because we've got white going on here, but do this background in a different colour. That might work. I'm going to use my indigo for a moment to add some sh shading. So the centre needs sharpening. Give me a minute. Um, and those little dots. There we go. Oh, tried to put my sharpener down on top of a pencil. Didn't like it. So these little dots, now and these, and the centre there, that will look a bit green. Okay, now background, hmm, I'm wondering whether to do like a sky blue, I think it will go quite well with all the other colours. Um, yeah. That's this what I'm going to do. Where's my sky blue? I think it's here. Yeah, here's my sky blue. So it's a pale grey blue. And I'm going to just do all of the background in this without really any difference in amount of colour, if that makes sense. We're going to use some of the um, pens that we used in the last one. So the gold, silver and white to add some detailing at the end so we can pick out some of the dots and different things to uh, to just give it a little bit of shine and it's rather fun I think it adds to the picture so I can't speak so I hope everyone's good today um, I don't know what day of the week whoops, this video is going out I haven't quite decided how to place this series yet. I think it might be an afternoon rather than a morning, which means it will get broken up by um, planner videos and things like that. Um, I've got a few ideas for some morning videos, you see. Um, slightly shorter ones, but I don't know. Um, haven't quite thought it all through yet to get on with something thinking, but uh, planning, but I will. And uh, so that's all fine. Okay. Now in the corners where we've got more dots, I'm going to just layer over again. You could use your light ultramarine if you want to use a darker pencil, but I think just another layer of this one 
will give the same effect because they're virtually the same colour, just slightly darker, like this. And then I'm just looking, yeah, now I'm ready for my pens. I'm going to grab my white first. This is my Sakura Jelly Roll 8. And as I said, I'm going to draw this string in between these beads. I think that's what it is, beads, but I might be very wrong. Anyone who knows can tell me. I'm sure I've seen this rooster on a food packet as a sort of logo. Um, but I'm not sure. There we go. So we'll just put these white lines on this one. Oh, I've got the eyelashes. I'm going to put them in white too. There. Now I'm going to grab my silver. This is number 553. And I'm going to do the dots in the corner. And down here. There we go. And I want to do some gold as well. Oops. Where am I? I want to do that? I want to... Um, I don't know if it's... I'm going to use my gold around here. You don't have to do this. I think it just... I don't know. It's a bit of fun for me anyway. Sorry, I find it harder to talk when I'm doing pen. Now I had thought about going around the edge of some of these, but I think I'm just going to leave them. I might just go over these lines of the base. Might have been better to do this in silver. But never mind. A bit late now. <laughs> there we go. Now let me see, am I happy with him? Yeah, I think that's uh, fine. Let's make him slightly less squiffy. There we go. So that is our rooster. Now we've got houses tomorrow. Now I've noticed that the houses in Lisbon can be really bright colours. So we're going to do each one a bright colour. So that's going to be fun. So looking forward to that. But I'm going to go and get a coffee before I start that one. But thank you today for watching. Um, I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, have some time for relaxation. And happy colouring. <laughs>